Hey guys, welcome to the Core Rush channel. This is Spin Tires Mud Runner. So this is a sequel to the original Spin Tires that you may remember. And I've been looking forward to this coming out. So I've got a nice preview copy here to show you what it's like. And let's go. So our mission here is to collect up some wood, which we're then going to take to the lumber mill. And uh, the physics are just awesome. So I've already driven from my starting point down here, where I've got a couple of our vehicles. The lumber mill's over here, and the actual place I need to go is over here. So I went up, I drove all the way up here, I went to the fuel station to refuel, and now I'm gonna try and find my way to the next watch point. That'll let me see what's around here, and hopefully pick up my logs. So it looks like we're gonna to go down here and then up this river, maybe? So um, we'll see how this goes. So far it's been pretty awesome. I went over a little bridge already, which was pretty exciting because it was bloody small. But uh, I don't know what's gonna happen next. All right. I think this is where we take the right turn. We could stick to the roads, but I'm really interested in exactly how, you know, this is gonna control and crazy. Like, I don't know if this is wise. Oh boy. So far this truck's been pretty amazing. Oh jeez, that doesn't look great, does it? It's just gonna be interesting if it works or not. If it doesn't work, we're gonna have to like go back to the starting area. Oh squeezing it through between these two trees. How deep is the water here? We're <laughs> okay. <laughs> the physics are just awesome. Really enjoying the physics in this game. Let's put the differential lock on, that might help us get more traction. I don't actually know where our air intake is for this vehicle. Yeah, it might be an <laughs> a problem if we go too deep. At least our vehicle's getting a nice clean. There's, there's probably a perfectly good road I could have went up. All right, let's check our progress. We're doing pretty good if we keep kind of going this way. It looks like it does turn left. I think it's going to go the right direction. So, oh shoot! Oh yeah, that was dangerous water level. Was let me know. Oh, that was close. Close to being too deep in the water. So uh, as we do missions and stuff, we can unlock better gear, better vehicles, better upgrades for our vehicles. So far, though, amazingly, we appear to be getting through here. We just have to watch the depth. Yeah, we're doing, <laughs> doing all right. Uh, look, we can get out of the river over here. Uh oh, uh oh, oh dear. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can get through here. Looks like someone's driven down here a lot before. Look at all these tire tracks. So the great thing about this game is it actually has multiplayer. Like you can do this cooperatively. So I'm looking forward to getting the guys on and potentially having a four player game with them. See how it goes. We are actually doing okay. Don't think we're gonna get stuck. Then we got through the dangerous part which is the war and we're good now. Look at all the mud just stuck it stuck into my tires. Awesome. Um, so our watch point is immediately to our left. So there it is, right there, a the big black flag, very ominous. Got to watch go into it. Might do some damage to my vehicle if I hit some rocks or that. So this probably doesn't actually have much fuel as well. So there we go. All right, so the road we want to take, it's actually, we will have to go back via the river. Which is going to be interesting when we're fully loaded up with logs. All right. <laughs> We've got a bush stuck in the back wheel. Come on. Uh-oh. All right, so yeah, we want to get... That's the road there, actually, we want to take, right there. Take a left, right, even. There we go. 
Alright, so how do we get our logs? Hopefully they can do this all without any hassle, let's see. Choose the log type to spawn, so then we go to, is it advanced? So I think it's short logs that we can get on this, I think. I had the option to put different backends on this, so it was either the medium or the short. Decided to go for short because it's obviously lighter. Uh, hold A. Do we actually need another truck to get these on, by the way? <clears throat> Choose a log type to spawn. Oh, here we go. I think... Uh, advanced... There we go. I wonder what that's for then. I guess maybe we can pick them up with other trucks and like do all kinds of different stuff with them. So here we go. We've got our truck fully loaded now and it's getting dark as well. And this place, this game has like a whole bunch of... Uh, whole bunch of open worlds you can explore. So this is just one of them. Come on. Oh my god, it's going to be a lot harder to get through the river with this puppy. You can already feel that extra weight. Oh god. I'm hoping we can do this okay. We need like points. We get points for doing this and then we can like unlock different garages that we can then repair and upgrade our vehicles at. Oh god, come on. Come on. I think we can put our lights on as well. Uh, there we go. Lights. Come on. <laughs> We've got a horn too. Come on. This is going to be slow progress. So yeah, I think this is going to be so much fun in multiplayer. I'm hoping anyway that it's going to be awesome in multiplayer. At first I didn't like this camera view, but it's handy as hell being able to see around your vehicle 360 like. I'm going to hit that tree. Oh boy. Oh shit. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh god. This could <laughs> Did I knock that other tree down by the way? I think I did, because I'm just going right through it now. I like how it's got all dark and uh, like really quiet. Really feels like it's at night. Jeez. This is just nuts. So we didn't even... Apparently we were very close to that road. I didn't see nothing that looked like any kind of a road. Come on. This is slow going, like, compared to when we were not weighted down. Okay, so what do we do here? We could go straight onto that big clear in front of me. Or we could try and find a path. Cause it, it looks like there's a path through those trees, but... Looking at it from here... It doesn't look particularly promising at all. Which, I don't really want to go left, because that's just... Water. I think we're going to have to though. I don't see any way to get through there safely. Oh my god. So this is deep water here like. Come on. If we can get over this little bit of ground here in front of me. Come on. This is not looking good. Oh jeez. We're through it. We're freaking through it. Oh, I got the heart going. All right, we are good to turn right, I think. If, crap. Yes, there, I think that's a gap we can fit through. Getting this puppy through here is not gonna be the simplest though. That should be the hardest part, going through that waterlogged area. 
The rest should be relatively plain sailing until I get back to that bridge that I crossed over to originally come up here. With this heavy load it's going to be interesting. So yeah, there's a fuel station right down here. We can get refueled. Which we... Actually not doing too bad. The fuel has not gone down much at all. But we'll top up anyway just to be on the safe side. There we go. Oh, like a multiplayer, I can just imagine everyone like uh, either getting on big trucks, maybe one guy being like a uh, support, some sort of tow vehicle. You can actually carry around like uh, mechanical parts and trailers and stuff, so I don't know if you can do like repairs on the go, which would be pretty cool. And of course, you can winch people, so you can actually winch people out of rivers and stuff like that, or you can winch yourself, but that will be pretty awesome. I think we're going to take the left here. I'm not going to bother looking at the map. Just going to hope this is the right way. Don't know if we should take the differential off or not. Let's try. Yeah, I think we're just spinning our wheels crazy there. So that's probably not a good idea. The tutorial did actually have me driving on tarmac roads. So they do exist in this game. Oh, it's the bridge. It's the bridge. Tiny ass bridge. I think though we look like we're pretty well lined up. Alright, before we go over, let's just check the other side. We actually have more space on the other side. This is like something at Top Gear. There we go, come on. Oh shit. Power, power, power. Yeah. Okay, let's check the map here. So, we can go down, we can go via the water. But we actually find a right hand turn that we can take that will uh, save us having to take that war. Probably wise to keep out of the war as much as we can. God, I can't believe this thing doesn't tip over. I was so sure that was going to go there. Oh crap. I'm going to try and get... Oh no. Oh no. Come on baby, we can do this. We could winch now actually, I wonder if we should. Let's try it. So, ah, I don't think we have a winch. That's bad. I guess we haven't unlocked it for this vehicle. Even if this vehicle could even have it, I don't know. We don't have a winch yet. That's bad. All right, there we go. So, crap, I missed my turn. Where was it? Somewhere in that darkness. Or should we just go for the water? Like, what do we have to go? Like, it's a long way through that water. We'd have to go all the way down here, then take a right. Screw that. Let's try and find our way through the trees here. What kind of options do we have? So, yeah, not having a winch is uh, not great. Okay. Doesn't look particularly like there's a road here, but there should be one to the left somewhere. I think this is it here is a relatively yeah this must be it. Yep, that's it. Let's go into the cockpit. Come on, can you get past that tree? Yeah. Here we go. We do have to go through some more. But not much. Well actually no we don't. We can go straight past here. Watch the rock, watch the rock. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> this thing is so slow. Oh god. I'm glad I did not go for I could have went for the bigger log type. Glad I did not do it because we'd be going at a freaking snail's pace at this rate. Come on. The physics are just amazing. You can see where like a branch goes into the wheels and everything. It's just awesome. Okay, into the water we go. Oh, it's just not deep enough, thank God. We could have easily flooded the engine there. I'll be so happy when the goddamn sun comes back up. So what do we have here actually? Oh, this must be the watchtowers we went past on the way up. 
game's pretty good looking as well. This is on the Xbox and you can get it on the PC. So I imagine it probably looks really good on the PC. But it's not looking bad on the Xbox at all. Come on. Let's work your way through. I watch when we go over this log. Should I push it into the ground? Awesome, it bends and everything. Alright, are we doing alright here? We are, we're actually close to the turning point to get in to our thing. Oh look, I can actually see the fuel in the fuel tank. It's like slushing about. That's amazing. I must have not loaded up on full fuel when I first came here because I ran out of almost all of it on the way up. So I must have just not had a full tank. Come on. You can imagine this online with like four guys on all in like a convoy. It'd be hilarious if someone gets stuck and you have to pull them out. Um jeez. Imagine doing this as a job. Barely have any idea where my freaking wheels are. I'm in the cabin. Alright, so we're taking a right hand turn here. We're gonna have to go through uh what looks like a kind of dried up river. Maybe it ain't as dried up as I think it is. Let's we'll see. It's looking alright at the moment. Bumpy as hell though. Man, the traction we're getting is just abysmal right now. Hey, we're fairly moving actually. Let's get the differential lock off and try and just speed us through here a little bit quick. Oh, oh god. God, I thought we were going to go. Alright, differential back on. Pretty much have to take a left right now. Let's watch from the cabin here to try and avoid the trees. Seems to be relatively clear, the actual ground looks fine too. We could probably put a differential off again. Oh, look at this, we made it! We've not got long to go and we're done. Come on. And we'll literally have to go out for an hour run. Drive carefully, we got something. Whew. Yay! Without getting any damage. So we want to unload for three points. There we go. Oh, so <laughs> literally, we have to go back up and get some more. Oh boy, ah, my truck looks amazing. I think the sun's starting to come up too. All right, so let's. Uh, how do we get rid of these again? Oh, park and brake off would be a smart idea. Look at, damn, it looks good. Loving it with the low sun coming up like. All right, let's get this puppy moving. So, there's a couple of rocks here. Hopefully we can get over all right. Good, good work. Oh, let me differential back on again. So at least we can get up there quicker now that we have a lighter load. We're back at the bridge again. Can't imagine what's going to be at the other open worlds bridge wise like. This is pretty small tame bridge. Can imagine there's even worse ones. Especially when you have bigger vehicles it's going to be really hard. really see those just tires just sinking in. Now we could switch out while we drive. Let's do that for a second. So now I think, what, are we driving on rear wheel only? See how this drives when it's just rear wheel only. Let's put the differential lock off as well. <laughs> They're just spinning like crazy back there.
Look at them go. Right, switch all wheel by drive back on. It's kinda hard to tell. Definitely going faster than all wheel drive. Right, we're almost back to this garage and we can get refueled. Knock that freaking tree down, that'd be nice. <laughs> Squeezing it between the trees again. Uh oh. Come on. Might have a bit of an issue. We just I think we're just getting caught on that little fucking branch. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I was really not liking the camera when I first booted up, but actually I'm getting used to it now. Alright, slow up, let's just see. Probably take a left here would be wise. Jeez. Come on, come on. Yeah, right through, no problem. Alright, I think we basically need to double time it through here because this is the deeper bit, I think. Yeah, that's no problem. Look at the water level on our vehicle with the water's been freaking great. Oh, jeez. Uh oh, uh oh, this might be a bad idea. <laughs> Somehow we're doing okay. Somehow we got through there like that. I'm amazed we didn't totally. Look at the whole freaking engine is wet. We'll have to do some maintenance on this puppy when we get back home. Come on, get some grip. Come on, you can do it. Let's get going. Let's get going. Looks like a nice bit of solid ground right here. Let's see if we can kind of somehow. Yeah, I'll do it right. So I think, yep. And uh, short logs. Because we can't spawn these, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I need to install medium log cart and log carrier with crane or log carrier. Cool. So hold. There we go. We got our stuff on. Bark and break off. <laughs> oh, it just looks great. Right. We're safe enough there for now. So the bit we want to punch through is basically in front of us, those trees. That's where we came in. So we aim for pretty much going through there. I wonder if we can knock a dead one down. I doubt it somehow. It looks too big. I'm gonna try though. Come on. Now we moved it a little bit. It ain't coming down. And we're through. Yay. So we need to take a... Hmm. Do we take a right here, skip the fuel station, and head down that way where it looks really bad? Like there's a, ro a lot of rocks and stuff. That doesn't look good, right? Let's stick to the path. We already know for sure that we definitely can get past. Yeah, there's my fuel again. I love seeing the fuel tank. I love seeing the fuel in it. It's so realistic. It's crazily good. It looks like real fuel sloshing about in a fuel tank. Kind of amazing, like looking at all those, those logs in the back and we're still moving. It's a good vehicle. So that's the kind of rocky bit there right now that we've seen on the map. It does look pretty... Yeah, it doesn't look very good to pass, I would, I would say. Try and better look at it, but kind of hard. Oh yeah, it would not be good. Oops, I just totally changed gear by mistake. I think that's what we want. Not sure. I think we may have accidentally went our and put ourselves in a tomb. Let's try a reversion. Yeah, I've accidentally gone and put myself in manual, which is not good. Which is probably automatic. There we go. There we go. So you can drive manual, pretty cool. Look at our speedo, like what are we doing? There's not even num numbers on it. 
I'm guessing that's like five mile an hour right there. Actually, kilometers an hour. Come on. Let's take a differential up for this because it looks like quite grippy. Here we go with the bridge. Oh, right. All wheel drive off as well. Okay, simple. <gasps> oh, man. What's my breath going over there? All wheel differential back on, I think, because this looks pretty mental. So after we drop this off, we'll actually get into our smaller vehicle. Take it out for a spin. Should be a lot faster. It's basically the Russian Land Rover. Unload. Yeah. Um, let's switch off the engine. Don't want that. Yeah, so here's all the stuff you can actually attach to things. So we can get uh, garage parts. Uh, garage, garage semi-trailer. Wow. Uh, garage trailer. It's an actual garage on a trailer. That's awesome. Uh, log, log carriage, log carrier, log carrier with crane. Uh, medium log carriage you can put more in a hang at the back um short log trailer spare wheel i don't know if you can actually burst a wheel i guess it's possible i guess it must must, must do actually if you get if you can take a spare wheel must be the case eh? uh, a trailer hitch uh utility attachment i've got no idea what that is uh semi trailer for fuel utility or is it fuel and other stuff, maybe? A utility trailer. So that's all we can put on that vehicle. But uh, we want to... Yeah, there we go. So we can get a spare wheel. I think we'll do that. Oh, they give us 60 repair points. Cool. Oh, truck. Fuel capacity, 18 liters, carries 200 repair points. Ah, I don't think we'll do that. But good to know that we can do that. So we're going to go, like, we could have a look around. We've got, I guess these are other vehicles over here that we can unlock. It looks amazing. Let's right, just check before we go in the water here. So basically want to get in the water and turn right. Or oh, actually, that's not even while I get in the water. Oh, watch the rock. If that rock was a touch bigger, it would have damaged us. Oh, this is, yeah, this might be too deep for this vehicle. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh, we may actually be stuck. We are totally stuck. We are legitimately stuck in the water, aren't we? Come on, little guy. Look at that water in the back lights. That's gorgeous. How can we get out of here then? What can we do? I don't think switching differential lock's gonna help, but try. Ah oh, man, we really fucked it up, didn't we? Oh wait, we can attach a winch. We do have a winch. I thought it was grid up because we didn't have one. Um Yeah We beat you, Forest, we beat you. <laughs> Or at least winch. We do have I thought it was grayed out because we didn't have one. We totally do have one. And it worked incredibly well. Yeah, this thing sucks like compared to the truck, I don't think there's any point in having this. On multiplayer I was thinking of having like three guys in a truck and one guy in like one of these. And this guy would go around, around like helping people get unstuck, but actually I think this vehicle's a total liability. How are we actually doing for fuel as well? Or did I right actually? Fuel consumption looks like it's better than it was to begin with. Yeah, this thing just totally doesn't have the wheels for this at all. 